find out the difference between series connection and parallel connection. I've taken an example. On the left hand side, I have got two batteries and I'm going to connect it in series. I connect the positive to the negative. And in case of parallel connection, I connect the positive to the positive and negative to the negative. Okay, now in adding a multimeter in both the cases, in case of serial connection, of course, the negative goes to the negative, the positive goes to the positive. Here too, the negative goes to the negative and positive goes to the positive. Now, if you notice the difference between the left hand side where you have the serial connection, so this is where I have the serial connection. Let's get it. And on the right hand side, I have parallel connection. Now what is the difference? When I check out the output by starting the simulation, on the left hand side, the serial connection shows a total of 9 volts plus 9 volts. While in the case of parallel connection, the total would only be 9 volts. What is the difference? If I attach a bulb in the serial connection, the bulb would shine brighter and brighter as I add new batteries in the series. While in case of parallel connection, the bulb will not shine even better had I only put the 9 volts of battery. Now what is the difference in performance? Looking at the performance factor, in series connection, if a single battery of 9 volts was supposed to work for 1 hour in the existing scenario, no matter how many batteries you add in series, even though it could shine brighter and brighter as you add the number of batteries, the life of that battery would be limited to 1 hour. But in case of parallel connection, as and when you add more and more batteries to the parallel connection, the life of the battery increases to the number of batteries you added in parallel. For example, if one single 9 volt battery if in the existing scenario would have worked for one hour, on adding two batteries, the life of the entire setup would be two hours. If you added three batteries, the battery life would be three hours and so on. But in series, no matter how many batteries you add, the life would be limited to one hour. I hope that's clear. So let me just end this demonstration by adding a bulb. One bulb for the series connection, one bulb for the parallel connection. Since we don't have polarity here, I can attach any of the connections anywhere. Now notice the difference. On the left hand side, the bright, the light would be brighter than on the right hand side. Let, let's also take another example of a battery, a 9 volt battery with just one cell in attached to it, one battery attached. So here I have got two batteries in series. In this scenario, a single battery. And I do the needful connection. Let's start the scenario and see what happens. See on the left hand side. 
as I increase the number of batteries in the series, the bulb will shine brighter and brighter to that extent. If you increase the number of batteries to beyond what that capacity of the bulb is, the bulb could even explode. 9 volts is the actual power required by this bulb. Okay, so on the left hand side, you have as you increase the number of batteries, the life would remain the same, but it could get shaded brighter and brighter. On the right hand side, where you've got two batteries in parallel, the brightness will remain the same, but instead of working just for one hour, this battery will work for two hours because you added two batteries. So if I add one more battery in the parallel connection, it could work for three hours and so and so forth. I hope that's clear guys. Thank you.